you everyone for, for joining us this morning at our son Chris. Uh, traditionally, the day after the time after Yom Kippur is the time for, for mitzvot. We try to start building the sukkah and go to Yom Kippur. We, a lot of shuls start davening a little earlier this morning, the morning after Yom Kippur. Uh, and while for obvious reasons, uh, technical reasons, the bris isn't actually enumerated as one of those mitzvahs, uh, it certainly it certainly qualifies. So we are very excited to be beginning this, this new year, the morning after Yom Kippur, doing uh, taking part of the mitzvah of a bris. Um, continuing on that theme just for one more moment, uh, we just ended the 10 days of repentance, the Aseris Yemei Shuvah. We started with Rosh Hashanah, and it culminated yesterday with Yom Kippur. And during these days, we've, we've prayed and we've asked for God to bless us with, with life, with good life, and all of its blessings. And uh, Tali and I certainly feel very, very blessed that begun the year two, two days after Rosh Hashanah with the birth of our son, and now the day after Yom Kippur with the bris of our son. And uh, we thank Hashem for these blessings, and we pray that the year should continue for everybody as a year of, a year of blessings. Uh, before I say a couple of words about the name of our baby, uh, Tali and I just want to thank all of our family and friends who are here this morning joining us. Uh, I'm not going to list everybody, but we really appreciate everyone who's, who's made the, take, taking the trouble to come here. And uh, we also want to thank our families for all the support the past, past week or so with the newborn and uh, helping prepare this beautiful, beautiful event. So thank you for that. Um, the name that we've given to our son, I'll, I'll try to keep a uh, dry eye here. Uh, the name we've given our son, Eliezer Avram, is, uh, is one that's been, been very dear to my family for a long time. It was the name of my grandfather, uh, my father's father, who was knit through, passed away back in 1998, uh, but who I was fortunate to, to know very well and to enjoy a very close relationship with. Um, Zadie Laser, as we, as we knew him, as, to his grandchildren, came to America after the war and uh, made a new, a new life for himself here never letting the, the darker experiences of his past affect his unwavering dedication to his faith, to his family, and to his community. Uh, ultimately building, along, along with my grandmother, Margaret Weiss, we're very, very thrilled to have her today, and we thank her for her support always. Um, uh, they, Zoe had to build a uh, beautiful family in Los Angeles and, and became leaders of, among the leaders of the Hancock Park Jewish community. Uh, his zest for Judaism and for life and his dedication to his family were very strong, and most of all, the, the natas he derived from his grandchildren knew no bounds. This was, of course, a fulfillment of his, his life's motto, which I've heard him say countless numerous times, which was, Hazorim Bedima Berina Yikzoru. Those who sow with tears shall reap with joy. The trials he overcame in his, in his earlier life were unimaginable, but he persevered and he won. And he's certainly looking down right now and reaping with joy at this baby who's named after him. We pray that our little Eliezer Avram will be infused with the midos of his great-grandfather and should become a source of tremendous nachas to his family and to his community. Thank you everyone for, for coming this morning. Wish everyone a good year and a good year.